All right, September 25th, and we're just on a quick quick trip to Long Lake, just because it's probably one of the closest lakes to me, so it's easy for me to, to hit quick. And uh, we're gonna try it. Water temperature right here at the ramp is 67. So it's come down a little bit. We had rain all day yesterday. And uh, that might have changed things. The front's just kind of passing right now, so it might be tough fishing. But we're just gonna go and kind of work the drop off and maybe work out in a little bit deeper water with, with something, see if we can find something out deep. If we can't find something on the drop off here in the quick hour we got. feet of water and see what we see. I already see some marks 10 to 20 feet down. There's a big blob of bait right at 20 feet. Another blob of bait. Yeah, we'll try to drop off quick, but I think we're gonna have to still try out deep. Which we didn't do last time we were here during the day. We went up shallow and tried those docks. I think today we might try out deeper. Seems like they're all sitting down, spending. They're not in the first 10 feet, they're all down near the bottom 10 feet. So, all right. Actually, gonna start with the whopper flopper since I drifted up onto the flat. See if anything wants to hit the whopper flopper. There's a nice breeze. Maybe we'll get something that will hit it. So I said that I should fish deep because all the fish looked like they were suspended down at the bottom and uh, first thing I do is throw top water. So got to rule it out right before we go deep. Got to try shallow. Right, let's cast with the top water. No, no hits, no blow ups, no nothing. Be following me. And then uh, we'll try the 13 Fishing Loco Deep Jerk Bait. See what it is. Regurgitated shade, kind of a matte color. And cloudy. I should probably use like a translucent one, but just throw what we got tied on so we don't spend two minutes tying on something else. We'll go once around the, the deep part of the weed edge, drop off. See if we can pull anything out of the weeds. Go back with a crankbait or we'll go out a little bit deeper with a swim bait and a deep crankbait and try that 20 foot zone like I should be doing. of something but I don't know what it was. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, there's three or four swimming about the same size as this guy. It's funny, I was fishing the crankbait up high, kind of giving it pops almost like a jerk bait, trying to trigger whatever I saw. I don't think it was a bass, something. Maybe it was bass chasing bluegill up shallow. Maybe I need a shallow jerk bait. Uh, but. Bad first fish, keeper, little keeper. 15 and a quarter. I tried to drop a swim bait in there, seeing if something would grab that swim bait. All that was gonna do was make me lose the one fish I had. So, what do we learn from this? Maybe just a regular square bill is what I need. Instead of a jerk bait. shallow. said, I don't think that's what I saw. The fin of something came out of the water. I didn't see that either. What was that? If you've never cast that uh, jumping carp, then you're not really a bass fisherman, are you? You've always got to jump or cast to any splash you see. Let's swim bait a minute. I think if we get a bite on the swim bait, maybe we'll switch to an A rig. Maybe. I don't know if we want to try out deep, the deep crankbait, or uh, deep A rig, deep swim bait, or try up shallow. Something faster, like a fast jerk bait, or fast, fast something. Fish down there. Let's try that deep crankbait, like we said. Yeah, got the nice blue colored uh, Strike King 5XD, which I've actually never thrown. So, give it a shot. It should match the bait that's down there perfectly pretty perfectly. I'm just going to work in that 15 to 20, 25 foot zone, see if we can pull up anything with it. Splash though. I'm gonna go out in deeper water. Pretty good. It might be four, it might be five, four and a half. Get bigger every second. That's a big fish. That might be my big fish of the year. That's what I say about deep cranking. I should have done that last time. It's a 
chunky four and a half, five pounders. Five for sure. Twenty and a quarter. Sweet. Come on. Hey, 5.04. We'll stop with that. Basically five. Maybe 4.9 something. We'll call it 5.04. All right. First five pounder in a while. Thanks to the deep cranking. Likely be deep cranking the rest of the day. We don't have much time left. out there that's a good one. It sounded like big splashes that were schooling to break the surface not the usual little bitty guys. Two and a half. First cast I didn't get any hits. Second cast I started ripping the whopper whopper to make more noise and he hit it right after I ripped it. Three seven nine Sweet. What an hour. Wind's gonna drift me right over where those fish were though. Three fish, three different baits, three ways. They're eating. What's gonna be the best technique? Spinner bait, shallow jerk bait, shallow crank bait, uh, stay out deep, just cut a five pounder out deep. I'm in the right spot though, so not with that first one, that there was kind of a roaming school of fish with him, like they might be in a little pack chasing stuff around on the shallow water. I've heard a few splashes and seen a few, a few things. I my black spinner bait for the regular spinner bait over this flat a minute. Fish your spinner bait kind of flat, fast and high, and something to go for that. Boy, we can catch fish on four different baits and not know what to use. All right, we'll try this 3 8 ounce Booyah Silver Shad. And uh, let's see if we can't get something on this. 
there's multiple fish in that school that I just caught that one out of, so we'll just have to keep listening. We got the whopper flopper, we'll put the spinnerbait on the other side of the boat so we can grab either rod real quick and hopefully get, get a fish if we see schooling. And, uh, we'll go back out and try that deep crankbait some more because that, that caught a nice one. All right, just the one fish in the deep crankbait. Don't have a lot of time left, so we're gonna switch and go with the shallow jerk bait. Um, just because the two of the three fish I caught were up shallow schooling. So if there's fish up shallow that are hungry but not schooling, hopefully the jerk bait will trigger them just to react. You know, they're not in the schooling schooling at that second. So I'm gonna try that. And uh, if I had more time, I would try to definitely try the deep crankbait more. Just try to one pass I would go longer and longer section of the, the drop off I would try out deeper and stuff like that. Don't remember what color this one is. We're gonna try this shallow shadow wrap. Blue a little bit of chartreuse under the should be natural enough but also flashy enough. In the sunshine hopefully we can trigger one. One more. Three good fish in an hour is really good. Four would be really nice. Five would be perfect. Five keepers anyways, we'll probably catch two dinks. All right, finish strong. All right, we used the 5XD for quite a while. Quite a while on the short trip that we had. We cut off the KVD 1.5 deep a little early, so let's make a few casts with that before we go. It's gonna work out into deeper water, just straight from the break here. Just see if we get anything as we get out towards 25 or so feet of water on this XD. And then we gotta go. Got to go. All right, this guy's going to do it. So I feel like the, I didn't see much. Once I got out past about 20 feet, so it seems like the bait has moved up close to the drop off, close to the weed line. Typical fall as they kind of move shallow and all the bass move shallow and start catching them pretty good up shallow again. So they're staging up close to doing that. Fish seem to be up active and, and biting, so fall bite's starting to heat up. And uh, we took advantage of it today. Not too bad for an hour. I thought I was going to have have trouble catching anything so two really nice fish from another keeper so can't complain 5xd finally caught a fish for me first time using it beginner's luck but thanks for watching click subscribe and have a good day hopefully i'll be making another video late tonight